Hey guys, it's Rianne, and today I am doing one of the most requested videos of all time on my channel, um, and that is the infamous What's in My Bag video. Um, I actually, one of the first videos that I ever uploaded was a What's in My Bag video, and I think I referenced it in another video, and I have gotten so many uh, messages and emails and comments saying, where's the What's in My Bag video? But I decided to take it down because I didn't really like the quality of it. I didn't really do a good job editing it. It was one of my first videos. So I decided to take it down, but I thought today I'd go ahead and shoot it again because apparently you guys are really interested in knowing what I have in my bag. Um, so I'm really excited to do it because I know a lot of you guys want to see it. The bag that I have this time is a little bit different than the bag last time. Um, if you guys have seen my three fall trends video, you know that I am absolutely loving this bag. This is a bag by Betsyville, which is by Betsy Johnson, and it has all of this beautiful gold studding on the front here. And then um, the gold studding carries throughout on the um, strap right here, and it has this little attachment, I suppose you could call it, and it's just a little lightning bolt that says Betsyville. It's kind of edgy and cool. Um, and then the last part that I really want to show you about this bag is just this little gold hardware that says Betsyville right here, which I think is just like a nice finishing touch on it. So now on to what is in my bag. I'm just going to pull things out randomly and hopefully it'll make some sort of sense. So if you guys have seen my how to organize and study for school video, you probably know that organization is one of those things that I think is totally key to my personal success. So I love to organize everything and this is a little planner that I bought. I actually got this one at Target and it's by the company Franklin Covey, who are the same people who wrote the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens books. Um, and I read the one that was Seven Habits for Highly Effective Teens. I really liked it. Anyway, that's kind of a tangent. Um, but yes, my roommate actually told me to go and buy this from Target. Um, she had the same exact one, but the little blue part was pink, which was kind of funny because like everything in our room her stuff was pink and mine was blue. Anyway, that's not really important either. Um, but basically, I just really love this little planner. And I actually went online and I could buy the filler for 2011. So I think if you guys go to a store and you buy something like this, make sure that you just see who the company is because the next year you can just buy the filler online because I couldn't find the filler in Target this year. So yes. <laughs> the next thing that's in my bag is very boring. And um, this is a little note card holder that I got from Target I think probably either two years ago or three years ago and I just put note cards in here because sometimes you know if a professor is talking and I feel like I should write down something that they say because I feel like it's going to be on the test I can just make the note card right there so I just keep these with me at all times I only have blue coat note cards right now because um, I ran out of white ones I don't even know why I bought blue ones anyway um, so yes the next thing that I have in here is a little pouch that I actually got in Japan um, and inside I just have a bunch of little sharpie pens because sometimes when I'm taking notes, I like to color coordinate what I am writing. Um, so yes, these come in handy. The next thing I have in here is a little pencil bag. This one is actually by Ralph Lauren, but I got it at TJ Maxx kind of a while ago. Um, inside of here, I just have your basic necessities for school. I have a whiteout and some highlighters a protractor, and I have my little baby stapler. And um, if you want to name the stapler, leave a comment below with a name because I feel like it's so cute. It, it needs a name and, you know, name it. I'm sorry now that we're really getting off topic. Um, the next thing that I have in here is just a coach wallet. Um, I got this kind of a while ago, so I'm not sure if they still make this particular design, but um, it's just a basic generic black wallet at the end of the day. So that's in here as well. And then I also have my sunglasses because you can never be too protective from the sun's rays. Um, plus it's hard to drive without sunglasses at some points in the day. The next thing I have in here is just my car keys and my little gym passes on there. And the last thing I have is my phone. Um, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about the case that I have on my phone, if you guys have ever seen one of these before. Um, this is called the Otterbox, and it was actually recommended to me by one of my friends. And essentially, it could survive some sort of bombing because it's just that secure. Um, I'm one of those people who always drops my phone, as bad as that is. Um, I do because I'm kind of a butterfingers. Um, and it's really awesome because you could like spill a cup of water on this, and if you dry it up really fast, it won't get into the phone because all of the little um, like openings in the phone are pretty much covered. Um, and you can like take it to the beach, and sand won't get in it, and all those kind of things. So if you have an iPhone, I don't know if they make them for any other kind of um, phone or 
anything like that, but I do know they make them for iPhone, and my friend who had this had it on her iPhone 3GS. So if you have an iPhone and you're looking for a really good case because you're clumsy like me, um, I would definitely look into getting the OtterBox. So yes, that concludes everything that is in my bag. If you guys are wondering where my school makeup bag is, um, I actually didn't have that class today, which is why I have time to film a video. Um, but if I do have that class, I will have the school makeup bag with me so I can do touch-ups and be on camera and all those kind of things. So with that said, I hope you guys are having an excellent day and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys!